Hi, I'm Karima, and I am at the CCM Cafe. Just to give you guys a little history of uh, who I am, I have been in the industry for, I'm about to date myself, so brace yourselves, 25 years. <laughs> I started with my sisters. Uh, we're called Virtue, and the journey has been incredible because they're my sisters, number one. <laughs> um, secondly, it's just um, a God thing, and um, this journey has led me many, many um, miles into what it is I've always wanted to do as from a little girl. I was about eight years old and I was singing and I heard my older sister. She told my mom, whoa, Karima can really sing. I overheard that conversation. And so I kind of wanted to sing anyways because I love the way it made me feel. And I started singing more. And I just thought in my head, you know, as little kids, we have so much faith. We don't care. We don't wonder. We don't worry about how it's going to happen. We just say it and, it and it does. And so um, somehow it does. And um, so I kept that with me. And God honored my what I've asked. You know, he gives you the desires of your heart. So through traveling with my sisters, um, this is not my first time um, being a solo artist. I actually ventured out maybe 11 years ago, and I was scared to death because anything different is scary, and especially not having my sisters on either side of me. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do without my sisters? And so, you know, even the traveling and being able to be with them on an airplane and, you know, act up in our in our hotel rooms, <laughs> it's just different. And so we got back in the studio after a virtue hiatus and we decided, you know what, we're just going to give it a break. And so to bring it up to speed, um, I decided to go solo again. And it wasn't something that just was gonna happen I actually prayed and asked God for a new direction um, and he gave me the path that I'm on right now and it is such an incredible journey the journey that I am on right now is an incredible one because I alone would have never ever saw what is happening for me right now and I'll say about two years ago um almost two years ago, um, I was working, no, it's about a year and a half, almost two, I'll say that. I was working as a design consultant at an amazing firm uh, that uh, everybody knows <laughs> this store. It's about 77,000 square feet and it's beautiful. Like you just want to be there, right? I was happy. I thanked God for the job um, just because when you're a musician and if, if you are, you understand that you need multiple streams of income. I mean, even if you're not, it's just something that I always believed in. And so I wanted to, you know, expand who I was as a person. So I went and I was designing homes with furniture and meeting all these amazing people going into this beautiful facility. I mean, gorgeous, but I still felt empty. There was an emptiness on the inside and a longing for something more. And I started praying. I would walk those hallways and I would ask God to show me what to do what do I do? Like, this can't be the end. It's not a bad end, but it's not the, it can't be the end that I'm, that, no, no, it couldn't be. So I started praying and that was July, 2020. I told God I wasn't going back to that job. So he was going to have to hurry up and make a way for me. And so I said, January, I'm starting a new, it's a whole new page. I need something new. And so I would pray that prayer. And I was, um, led to reach out to a writing partner of mine. We wrote one song in August and I was able to take that song and I did clips and, you know, the industry, not the industry, the world technology, I should say. It's just so amazing these days. So you, you don't need a whole lot to get music out in the way that I was thinking. And so I was advantageous. So I took my song and I put pieces of it on Instagram and piece of it, pieces of it on Facebook. And I was just determined to get it out somehow. Somebody was going to see it. That was my prayer as well. And nobody saw it. <laughs> nobody saw it. And I was like, okay, so I'm not going to lose the faith. Although I feel like I'm losing the faith, but I'm going to keep the faith. And so I kept the faith and kept praying, kept praying and praying. And so God had me pay attention. There was a song Lisa and Juan Winans had released and it was, called It Belonged to Me with Marvin Winans. And wow, 
I listened to the song and it immediately felt like it just resonated right here in my heart. And I was so excited about the lyrics. But then I started paying attention to their pictures and who put them out, the quality, just everything about them. And I literally said, look, Jesus, I need what they have. I need what they have. I want what they have. I hope that you don't consider that coveting, <laughs> but that's what I want. I need it. And so I literally prayed that prayer. And so October rolled around and it was on a Thursday. Like, you know, I had waves of inspiration, waves of doubt, waves of depression and you know, I was determined to stay here. Like I was not going back down. I just wasn't doing that. So in October, it was a Thursday to be precise. I literally said, okay, God, I'm a little weary. I need you to show me what to do. Like, can, like I, I need Lisa and Juan's people. I need them to reach out to me. And I kid you not, 15 minutes later, I checked my DMs on Instagram and the CEO of Dear Records had left me a message. I'm like, wait, did this just happen? Like, seriously? Are you kidding me? It happened. And I, I like, I, sh I was shaking because I was like, wow, Krima, you have like, there's power in you. There's power in life and in your tongue when you speak what you seek until you see what you say. And so I literally was over like the moon about this man reaching out. And, he, and his message was so funny because I'm from New Orleans and he had a funny message in there. And in New Orleans, if you're from New Orleans or if you know or have friends or family, you know, Wody. Can you say Wody? No, kidding. <laughs> Wody was in my, he said, what's up, Wody? I was like, who is this? Who is this? But I knew who it was because it said dare. I was like, okay, so He's talking to me through, you know, texting and asking me, so what are you doing? And I'm, I'm not even paying attention. I'm like, well, dang, he saw the song. He saw the clip. Thank you, Jesus. And I was like, wow, did you actually see the clip and the, the music? Did you hear it? He said, no, what song? What music? Never heard it. Never heard it. He said, I was led to send you a message because I felt there's some there's a light on your page, man. He said, there is something about your presence, your spirit and everything. And I just want to know what you're doing. You know, I, I, I'm the CEO at Dare Records. I was like, what? And honestly, the rest is kind of history. By December, I had a record deal, had a record deal. In February, I was in Los Angeles recording with Aaron Lindsay. I mean, it just all happened overnight but because I believed and I just want to tell you guys if you believe what you speak and if you ask God you cannot you this is I'm telling you from experience don't waver in your faith if if you believe something in your heart God is gonna help it come to fruition which he did for me and if he did it for me I know he can do it for you I'm just a willing and open vessel so in 2022, you guys can expect more music from me. I am excited about the next single that will be released soon after um, it's time. <laughs> and um, I have a soup line that I'm working on. I am a chef. I love to cook. And I also have an athleisure line that I'm going to launch in January. So I'm busy and I'm blessed. And so uh, you guys could actually find out more of what I'm doing in the process on Instagram. You can follow me at Karima Trotter. That's where I post everything and I go live a lot too. So yeah, follow me there. Also have a presence on YouTube and Facebook and it's all kind of like intertwined Karima or type in Karima Redeemer and it'll bring you to all those amazing places where I am.